Hey, Simon from Wolfmix here, and in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to use the DMX Values screen. We start by tapping the Setup button over here, and we tap DMX Values. Now, this screen shows us every single DMX value of every DMX channel. You can see there are some values moving over here. I believe these are the color channels of the moving heads. And what you can do is go into any DMX channel just by selecting it either on the grid or from the matrix. And you can override that value by setting a test value. So you see I'm controlling this first fixture, this first moving head up here. And then I can go over to the second channel. Now it's important to be aware that these values aren't saved. As soon as you exit this screen, you'll lose these values. If you want to keep these values, you need to go to the Live Edit and create a Live Edit button. This is solely just for testing the channels to make sure that everything's working as it should be. When you do create an edit, you see this little pen icon here. If you want to reset back to the original value, you just need to tap the first encoder, like so. Moving to the second encoder, every channel has a default value. This channel's default value is 127. The WolfMix recalls the default values before it manages any of the processing. So if you switch off all your colors and all your effects, it will eventually drop down to this default value. This is useful for switching a beam on. If your beam's not on by default, you might want to try and find the shutter channel and change this default value here. And this will change the value that's loaded right at the beginning of the engine of the processing. Over here, we've got a fade. By tapping this encoder, it enables fading on the channel. If fading's disabled, if you have any fades between presets, they'll be completely ignored for this channel. This is quite useful for gobo channels, for example. If you don't want the gobo wheels slowly spinning as one preset's fading to another, you can disable fading on the channel. Over here, we've got DMX in, which allows you to map that channel to a particular DMX input controller. Uh, I do have another video tutorial on that, so I'll go into more detail another time. Um, over here we have the page, so we have up to 512 channels. And if you're using more than one universe, you can access the various universes up here. This is an advanced screen, this beam editor. When you add a lighting fixture to WolfMix, it automatically analyzes the fixture to understand what the dimmer is, what the strobe is, what the pan and tilt is, and it creates these beams. Now, normally you should never have to touch this screen, but sometimes if a fixture isn't behaving as it should do and you don't want to have to edit and re-add the profile, you can dive in here and change your DMX values or your on-off values. I won't go into too much detail in this tutorial as it's quite an advanced function, but if you check out the reference guide, it will give you some more information about this screen. So that is the DMX value screen.